Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, Sean of Third Railify here, and uh, this is a this is a really disturbing story. It's um, maybe not the most disturbing one that I've done, but it's up there. It's up there in the I, I don't know how many hundreds of videos I've made, which you can you can see the vast majority of those on on Rumble. Uh, my YouTube catalog has been <clears throat> pruned because they. They call it hateful content. This specific type of video, YouTube deems hateful content. So, uh, or or harmful content, and um, it's rough. It's news. It's newsworthy. It's rough. It's a rough topic, and I want you guys to know that we're going to be dealing with um, a, a, a lot, a lot of sexual assault. I'm going to probably say the word rape a whole bunch of times. And so there's no way this video could ever really be monetized, even though we're, we're covering an important legal news story. So do, do um, I mean, if you're watching on YouTube, if, you, if that's where you found me, do, do subscribe. But also, if you, uh, also on Rumble, at Third Railify on Rumble, at Third Railify on Twitter, if, you, if you're into that kind of thing. But, um, you know, thirdrailify.locals.com is the best way to support me so I can keep doing stories like this because it's, again, it's, it's these stories that YouTube says, yeah, buddy, as long as you cover this stuff, you're never getting monetized again. It's a true story. So anyways, with, with all that being said, this is, I guess, a fancy trigger warning, I guess, because here we go. Husband who drugged his wife so more and 50 men could rape her while unconscious goes on trial in France. Wife lives through the assaults for the first time as court hears horrifying details. Now, I heard about this story as like the arrest happened and whatnot quite a while ago. And I, we were sort of just waiting for it to go on trial. And that time is now. And it is absolutely as horrific as everyone thought it was going to be. And in many cases, it's actually much worse than what we thought it was going to be. Like, what this woman went through, um, not, just, not just the fact that she discovered that she was, she was raped by more than 50 men, but that it was brought on by her husband, that she was given uh, sexually transmitted uh, infections, STIs, that, that her daughter was even drugged and, 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 and photos taken of her. Like, I mean, there, it is, it is this, it's this story, this, this rabbit hole that's just, it just keeps going down and it gets worse and it gets worse and it gets worse and it gets worse. And there's actually um, forums, websites, forums dedicated to this exact thing. Now, some of it is fantasy and, and uh, in role playing, but but the way that it always it always goes is you know you talk about it, you fantasize about it, and then the, you maybe you slip your wife something to make her a little drowsy, like a Benadryl or something. But then you get it gets into hard stuff, and then it just it just goes and it goes and it goes and it goes, and then you get to the, the most horrific bottom of the rabbit hole, if there's even a bottom to what this story is. The husband who drugged his wife so more than 50 men could rape her while unconscious goes on trial in France. A French pensioner who allegedly drugged his wife and allowed dozens of strangers to rape her while unconscious went on trial today in France in a case that has horrified and captivated the country. Now, this is going to be a longer video because I have five, five different stories about this story and about some of the um, things that have come out in court. So do stay tuned. Don't just be like, oh, what an awful story and click off. Watch all the way through. Dominic P. Which is, uh, P is a Pelcott, I believe. Dominic P. is accused of orchestrating a sick rape, uh, a sick rape ring because he recruited all of these men. He recruited them. He found them. Hey, who wants to rape my wife? What? That's disgusting. Using an online forum to invite a horde of men aged 
26 to 74 to his home in Mazan near Avignon before filming them assaulting his wife over nine years between 2011 and 2020. Police counted a total of 92 rapes committed by 72 men, 51 of whom were identified and are being tried alongside the main suspect. A 71-year-old former employee at France's power utility company, EDF. The trial will be a horrible ordeal for the victim, said her lawyer. Antoine Camus. For the first time, she'll have to live through the rapes that she endured over 10 years, he said, adding that his client had no recollection of the abuse, which she only discovered in 2020. And it was in 2020 when we heard about it. I, I remember it was in lockdown. I, I think I was like doing the dishes or something. And it like popped up in a, in like a, a new story. And I was like, oh my God, that's crazy. I mean, this was, was before I was even doing YouTube. The woman, now aged 72, could have opted for a trial behind closed doors but that's what her attackers would have wanted, Camus said. She will be present at the trial, supported by her three children. Police began to investigate the defendant, Dominic P., in September 2020 when he was caught by a security guard secretly filming under the skirts of three women in a shopping center. Police said they found hundreds of pictures and videos of his wife on his computer, visibly unconscious and mostly in the fetal position. The images are alleged to show dozens of rapes in the couple's home in Mazan, uh, a village of about 6,000 people, roughly 20 miles from Avion in Provence. Investigators also found chats on a site called Coco.fr. Since shut down by police, which he recruited strangers to come to their home and have intercourse with his wife. I, it just gives me chills. Reading this gives me absolute chills. I hope you're as disgusted as, as I am. Dominic admitted to investigators that he gave his wife powerful tranquilizers, especially to Mesta an anti-anxiety reducing drug. I don't I don't know what Temesta is. If you know what it is, comment below and tell me about it. The abuse started in 2011 when the couple was living near Paris and continued after they moved to Mazan 2 years later. The abuse took part in the rapes, filmed them. Sorry, the husband took part in the rapes, filmed them and encouraged the other men uh, using degrading language, according to prosecutors. And I guess it's important to know that no money changed hands. He, he did this for the pure enjoyment of brutalizing his wife. It wasn't like, oh, pay me, you know, X amount of dollars and you can pump my unconscious wife full of business. You know what I mean? It was just, it was do all that purely for, for, for enjoyment. The accused rapists included a forklift driver, a fire brigade officer, a company boss, and a journalist. So all kinds of men from all kinds of professions, all walks of life, young and old. What the fuck is the matter with these fucking people? Something is awfully wrong in France. Some were single. Others married or divorced, and some were family men. Most participated just once, but some took part up into six times because, you know, raping an unconscious woman, I mean, that's so great. You can't do it just once. It's like Pringles. Once you pop, you can't stop. Their defense has been that they simply helped a libertine couple live out its fantasies. But Dominic told investigators that all were aware that his wife had been drugged without her knowledge. An expert said her state was closer to a coma than sleep. He must have 
it's again, I don't know what Temesta is. It, it, it must be a particularly powerful uh, drug. Her husband told prosecutors that three men left the house quickly after arriving, while all others proceeded to have intercourse with his wife. Dominic, who also said he was raped by a male nurse when he was nine, is ready to face his family and his wife. His lawyer, Beatrice Zavaro, said. So, they are going to try and use him being sexually assaulted as a young boy by a, by a man um, as a mitigating circumstance. Oh, the, 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 the absolute grotesque and horrific thing that I perpetrated isn't nearly as bad because once upon a time, a bad thing was to me and broke me as a human. It sucks that the court often takes that into consideration. Like, oh, well, the, the bad thing you did is indeed less bad because you're fucked up as a person. I just, I disagree with it. I, I, I disagree with it. But this trial may not be his last. Uh, the defendant has also been charged with a 19... Jesus Christ. You're reading this the first time with me. So, we can, we can have genuine reactions together. The defendant has also been charged with a 1991 murder and, surprise, a rape, which he denies an attempted rape in 1999. Oh my God, rape seems to be his thing, to which he admitted after DNA testing. Experts said the man does not appear to be mentally ill, but reportedly concluded that he has a need to feel all-powerful over the female body. In assessments included in court documents. This shocking trial is due to last until December 20th. I will bet any money this, this jury goes in, signs their name on papers, checks a bunch of boxes, and then comes right back. I mean, maybe, maybe they'll like say, can we get lunch out of this? Can we check boxes while eating lunch? It's gonna it's gonna be uh, open and shut. Like, I think that they already have this guy dead to right. So the next part of this, and again, I said there's a, a bunch of these, so do stay with. Wife drugged by her husband so he could film her being raped by more than fifty men. Has to watch the videos of her sex attacks. This poor woman, Giselle Pellicott has to watch the videos. There's um, what, uh, 92 rapes with uh, by 72 men, 51 who have been identified. She has to watch her body lay there in various ways because she's in a coma, right? You can slap around a person in a coma and she has to watch herself be raped 92 times in court while her husband is there, you know, saying all kinds of bad things. And, and while the men doing the things to her is saying all kinds of bad things, it's absolutely disgusting. I just, I, my, um, my heart goes out to this woman. So a woman who was allegedly drugged by her husband so he could film her being raped by dozens of strangers has had to watch uh, videos of her sex attacks ahead of them being played in court. Giselle Pellicott has uh, waived her legal right to anonymity at the opening of the trial of Dominique Pellicott. All are accused of aggravated rape in the trial, uh, which is due to last again until December 20th. Miss Pellicott's lawyer, Antoine Camus said she could have opted for a closed trial, but that's what her attackers would have wanted. Still, she said the trial trial will be a horrible ordeal for Giselle. Outside of the court, one of her lawyers also explained how the act of rewatching footage of her assault was difficult for her and for all the family, but today the trial begins and the process must go ahead. The presiding uh, judge, Roger Arada, announced that all the hearings would be public 
granting Giselle's, Giselle's wish to waive her anonymity and keep complete publicity until the end of the court case, according to her lawyer. Uh, she was dreading this moment, but is relieved that the hearing is open and that she will not be locked up for four months with her assailants. She wants to raise awareness as widely as possible about date rape drugs so that this never happens again. Uh, yeah. And it gets, it gets worse. It gets worse. Daughter. Because they have, have a few kids together, right? Three kids, I think. Daughter of man who let 50 men rape his unconscious wife breaks down and flees the court. As trial hears, he also photographed her all drugged and had a file on his computer named My Daughter Naked. So this guy also drugged his daughter and then took all kinds of photos of her. This guy's a real piece of shit. The daughter of the man who's accused blah, 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 blah. Um, <coughs> fled court today. After the trial, heard he also photographed her while she was drugged. Caroline Darian, alongside her mother and two siblings, broke down shaking uncontrollably and had to be helped from the courtroom as the presiding judge made the harrowing revelation. When police sifted through her father Dominique Pellicott's computer files, they stumbled across a sickening folder labeled My Daughter Naked. It was believed that, as with his wife, Giselle Pellicott had rendered Carolyn unconscious with tranquilizers before laying her on a bed, partially dressed in her mother's clothes, and photographed her. Pictures had been taken at the family home near Paris sometime before they moved to Provence in 2013. So she would have been probably pretty young, I think. At least 35 of the def defendants have plead, uh, pleaded not guilty, and 14 of them have pleaded guilty, including uh, Dominique. Oh, he's 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 pled guilty. So I guess um, the the jury doesn't have to worry about that one. One of the defendants is absent for an unknown reason, while another is on the run. Dominique, who appeared on the site under a sub, uh, um, his, his little gross forum, on, um, he had a pseudonym, said he occasionally took part in the forum, but that it was not his habit. However, there is evidence that he uh, sometimes used the word rape. In addition, it was revealed that he told potential attackers that by giving his wife sleeping pills, he would be able to abuse her by engaging a practice she would have refused. So like, oh, if I, if I give her this pill, she'll let me put it in her butt because she'll be in a coma. He is said to have ordered 450 pills in the space of a year. How the hell do you just order pills like that? I didn't even think that's possible. You need like prescriptions for that, don't you? The judge today read out a series of justification from Giselle's alleged attacker standing trial. One was quoted saying they believed it was all a couple's game, while another attacker said that the relationship had to take place at night in complete darkness because the woman was shy and hung up despite her desire. She would pretend to be asleep. Meanwhile, another said that as long as the husband was president, uh, present, there was no rape. Ooh, that's a yucky one. That's that's a yucky one. Other defendants also claimed to be under the sway of Dominique, who acted like a very controlling conductor. I did what he asked, but I don't know why, another defendant claimed. One defendant expressed regret for the victim and said that he was also a victim. He was as much of a, as a victim as she was claiming to have been tricked by Dominique. But the judge declared that the instructions were clear to the attackers who were summoned by Giselle's husband. The judge 
also said that none of the defendants had spoken to the victim and that she was in a state closer to a coma than sleep. So they, they couldn't get any consent. That's, that's sort of the, that's sort of a, a, a tricky business when you're doing this kind of like, this kind of kink or whatever, right? You, you can pretend to be asleep, but the moment you actually fall asleep or you actually go into a coma, you, your consent is revoked. You have to you have to be in a in a state to to give consent, and when you're not, it's revoked. Even if it's your wife, or your, or your husband. Come at night without perfume or the smell of cigarettes. The men were to undress outside the bedroom, make no noise and leave at the slightest movement or sign that the victim was awake, the judge said. The judge, however, told uh, the court that 10 of Giselle's alleged attackers had never been identified by investigators. According to German news outlet Bild, Dominique allegedly filmed the horrific attacks, got around them, and titled the files on his computer, uh, on his computer Abuse slash night of September 6, 2020, with Charlie for the sixth time. In addition, a video was seized and quoted by French media. Dominique can be heard saying during a rape of his unconscious wife in October 2020, No, no, not with your hands, not with your nails. It will wake her up. She is ticklish. The perpetrator wonders. It's crazy that she doesn't wake up. That's so fucked, man. Bild also reported that Dominique found his wife's potential rapist on the internet and lured them through a dating website through which he discussed his sick plans. Oh, heavens. So. Um, I guess these are some quotes of, of his conversations. Do you still have them tested from time to time, clean and safe? One chat, uh, chat partner asked. She has no idea. Asked another. No, she puts it down to tiredness. Dominique replied, you're like me. You're into, you're into rape mode. He wrote in another interest party. Dominique is standing trial, blah, 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 blah. That's. This, this goes on. So Dominique Pellicot, sorry, Pellicot, um, he, he took part in orgies with up to three other perverts who took turns having sex with his unconscious uh, victim. So this guy was into like weird stuff. So the depraved husband who drugged his wife, blah, 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 blah. My strangers also recorded himself taking part with up to three other men at a time. So it's three men sticking their dicks and effectively, I mean, thoughts some prayers or whatever to Giselle Pellicott, but into a lump of meat. Like this guy was just, the instances of abuse sometimes lasted as long as six hours. With an unconscious Giselle clearly heard snorting and breathing heavily in the dark clips. Like and then lastly, it goes it goes to it goes to this. Husband who drugged wife for 50 men, blah blah blah, wanted to have gay sex with pervert he contacted online. And the man agreed on condition that he could have sex with his unconscious wife first. Like what? So Dominique Pellicott um, wanted to have gay sex with men who came to the door of their family home. Um, he, he filmed and painstakingly catalog, uh, cataloged more than 20,000 videos and images of his wife being abused by 72 different men. Blah, 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 blah. We know that. 
Having raped his wife several times himself, he played the role of director, filming strangers having their way with his unconscious wife, uh, drugged on powerful tranquilizers. Some of the footage showed Mr. Mr. Pellicott taking turns to filing his wife with three other men in one single incident, while other episodes of abuse sometimes last as long as six hours. But a 60-year-old man, one of 51 men facing aggravated rape charges, told the detectives that the grandfather wanted to have homosexual intercourse with him, adding that he agreed to do so only on the condition that he could have sex with his sleeping wife first. So Dominique wrote, I'm looking for a perverted accomplice to abuse my sleeping wife by taking turns in my place. She takes her sleeping pills herself every day, and I take advantage of it without any risks. She won't even see you. When Giselle Pellicott, now 72, told her husband, Mr. Pellicott once accused his perplexed wife of infidelity when she discovered she had contracted a sexually transmitted disease. So that's really messed up. So he, he, he drugs his wife and he like all, all of the rape. He gets an STI, as I had said in the beginning of this so far very long video. And he has the audacity to accuse her of cheating when Giselle Pellicott uh, told her husband she needed treatment for an unexplained sexual illness. He suggested she must be having an affair while he was out cycling, <coughs> asking her with a hollow laugh, so what are you doing with your days? The 71-year-old grandma was oblivious to the grim truth that her gynecological trouble resulted her from being seriously abused as Pellicott slipped tranquilizers into her evening meals. So Dominique was like cooking for his wife dinner. Oh, honey, I'll, I'll make you dinner, blah, 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 blah. He cooks her dinner, cuts up this uh, Tamara or whatever this pill was, in, into, and then she's drugged and she doesn't even know it. The, um, so Pellicott, Dominique Pellicott, uh, attempted to portray his wife as the sex-obsessed uh, party in their seemingly perfect marriage. Um, Judge Roger Arata outlined in... Uh, in the prosecution case, together with 50 men, blah, 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 blah. We all know about that. So Pellicott, off, who often directed all of, all of the horribleness, um, he, would, he would tag it, her rapist, abuse, and my slut. This is the, the, the rest of this is going to uh, probably talk about details that we have already, um, we've already talked about. So we'll, we'll end that there so yeah so dominique pellicott uh did horrible things and is on trial uh goodness this was a long one thank you if you stayed through it all um i'll probably update the story from time to time if any if any blockbusters come out but i think we pretty much pretty much have the uh whole idea of what happened um, they have them dead to rights, so that's going to be a slam dunk by the time Christmas comes when the trial ends. Um, it's only so long because there's so many people being charged and, and on trial simultaneously. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. I love you all. See you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace. Peace.